Welcome back to Wise Man Company, everybody. I'm Ben, and today we're gonna do the long-awaited Scorpion K video. Uh, on Instagram, a lot of you have been asking about when uh, this video was gonna come out, and today's the day, we're gonna do it. But before we start, I wanna give you a little context behind this project. So just bear with me for a little bit. In this Vertex sling pack, I have the Scorpion K, and that was kind of the whole premise of this project. To build a gun that was small, backpackable, if you will, and um, cheap to shoot. Nine mil is pretty cheap to shoot. If you like to party, you can party for a long time with a, uh, a minimal amount of expense with nine millimeter. But is it the best for defense and that's the other side of the coin. So here's the context for us. I got this gun in a trade. I probably would have never bought this gun from a gun store or anybody. Um, I just didn't see a lot of value in it as is. In fact, I reviewed the Scorpion for another company when it came out a long, long time ago and I thought I was gonna like it and I ended up really hating it. Since that time, there has been a lot of aftermarket parts that have come out and I basically gutted this Scorpion and changed everything about it, as you can see. Let's get into it. The Scorpion, right out of the box, I think is a very unergonomic gun. It's very European. Not, not comfortable to shoot at all, and it kind of makes you think like, what were, in the heck were they thinking when they designed this? Did no one actually shoot it before they released it to the public, just because it was that uncomfortable? Everybody knows about the safety rub, um, it didn't have a very good uh, grip on it. Uh, it was longer than necessary, in my opinion. Not really well thought out. Europeans uh, wear gloves when they shoot. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe they want to keep their hands nice and soft. I don't know. But it makes sense if you think about it because this gun had sharp edges, it rubbed everywhere, um, and if you were wearing gloves when you were testing this and designing it, you probably wouldn't have felt a lot of that stuff. So that's just one theory behind the initial design of the CZ Scorpion, that they weren't really exposed to the uncomfortable ergos of this gun because they always shoot in gloves. You can literally change everything about this gun. It's very reliable, it's a very reliable gun. It just needs um, some better aesthetics and ergos. Okay, so what I did to this, I added an SB Tactical Brace. This is the MP5 style brace. Um, and you can see it's not really meant for putting on your arm in any way, uh, but it acts just like the real stocks that you're gonna see on a UM, H&K UMP or MP5. I really, really like the stock. Yes, it's a folder, um, which helps the compactness of this firearm. Snaps into place. Great investment, in my opinion. There's a lot of aftermarket stocks for the CZ Scorpion, but this one I wanted from the very get-go. The grip, a very big point of um, conflict for a lot of people with this gun. The original grip is very swept back, um, bulky. It really adds to the grind on your knuckle when you're manipulating the safety. So I went with this Pathfinder grip. It's uh, very uh, perpendicular to the firearm, almost at a 90 degree, which all my ARs, I use the BCM grips and they share the similar geometry to this Pathfinder grip. Pathfinder grips you can get for around 30 bucks, probably the cheaper of all the grips that you can get for the Scorpion. And it has been solid so far. Easy install on this grip and I, I really, really like it. It takes away a lot of that safety rub, which you typically run into. Mag release is a little bit bigger of a mag release. Uh, this is the HB Industries uh, mag release. You can tell it's like a big old fat paddle. Um, I like it a lot um, because with these mags, I typically have to strip them. They don't fall th free, especially the USA ones. Um, those mags don't fall th free when the bolt is locked to the rear. And that's typically when you're doing a mag change. Um, so this helps me just to get my thumb on it and strip it out of the gun a little bit better. This is the HB Industries mag release. On top is the Hollow Sun 503C. Been running this particular red dot on the Scorpion for its entire existence. Moving forward, we have the Midwest Industries rail. This is their K rail. It has M-Lock on it. Midwest Industries, I think, is very underrated. They make some really, really great stuff. Fit and finish on them is always phenomenal. They've been in the game a long time, but they're making rails and aftermarket parts for all sorts of guns now. 
Um, and I saw this uh, rail available for K versions of the Scorpion and I jumped on it. The barrel chop was done by Tommy at Catawba Valley Armory. You guys might remember him for past jobs he's done for us. He's done work on Noah's 308 bolt gun. He's chopped down AR barrels for us. Just does a phenomenal job. And he was not scared to take on this project in the least bit. And he did a phenomenal job. Cut it back to five inches and threaded it half by 28. That's typically what you're gonna run into with nine mil suppressors is that thread pitch. By chopping the barrel down, a lot of you are gonna say, well, you're probably losing a substantial amount of velocity by doing that with a nine mil cartridge. And the fact of the matter is you're not. You're not losing that much velocity going from a eight, seven inch barrel down to a five. It's pretty negligible. So in my mind, you might as well cut that weight out and cut that size. You don't need it anyway. Two components that I could have changed but didn't, and a lot of other people do change these th items, uh, are the trigger and the safety. There are a lot of triggers out there for the Scorpion, and there are a lot of safety options out there for the Scorpion. I think the Scorpion trigger isn't horrible. It isn't the best, though. It doesn't bother me. Honestly, it's not bothering me enough to invest more money into this build. The safety kind of got fixed when I switched the grip to this Pathfinder grip, so I don't think I'll be switching that out anytime soon. Final thoughts, guys, I really like this gun now. The CZ Scorpion is very reliable. I haven't had any malfunctions with it, ran all sorts of ammo, run, has run it suppressed, and it works like a charm. It works great. Unfortunately, like I said, out of the box, this thing is very uncomfortable and unergonomic which has opened up the door for a lot of companies to make some great aftermarket parts for it. I'm really happy with this build now. There are better calibers to have as far as um, self-defense goes. I don't think nine millimeter is great, but I feel like the size of this gun justifies the means. Because it can be so small and I can tuck it in a backpack, it kind of has a niche in my arsenal. Are there better options for self-defense? Sure. Here's a 300 blackout with a law folder, eight and a half inch barrel. Definitely really short, but not as short as the K. Also, a lot more expensive to shoot. If you want to put in hard work, this is probably the caliber you'd want to do it with. But if you're going to train and shoot a lot, it really hurts the wallet. So there's trade-offs to everything. So if you guys have a Scorpion, let me know down in the comments what you have done to it or what you think about them. I would really like to hear what you guys think. For me, I think this project is done. I've done everything I wanted to do to it. And uh, again, it's gonna fill a small role in my arsenal. If you guys like this video, hit that like button and share it with your buddies. If you could, please go check us out on Instagram and Facebook. We got a lot of great content going on over there. And if you're interested in supporting Wise Men Company, go to wisemencompany.com. That's our web store. We have a lot of great stuff over there for you guys to check out and we appreciate every bit of support. Hope you guys enjoy the video and we'll see you on the next one.